I review the sixth generation iPod Touch. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I have the iPod Touch 6th generation in hand right now. I've been playing with it for a while. I'm gonna unbox it here for you. I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna compare it with the outgoing model, the iPod Touch 5th generation. Also compare it with the iPhone 6 slash 6 Plus. This particular model is a pink 16 gigabyte version of the 6th generation iPod Touch. So let's unbox it right now and see what's in this box. Looking very familiar, the iPod Touch sitting on top. You have some notes. A very brief introductory guide. It's actually only one page, so uh, don't go in there looking for really verbose instructions. They keep it extremely brief with the iPod Touch 6th generation. It comes with a lightning cable, of course. You'll need that to charge your device. It doesn't come with the power brick, so just keep that in mind. It does also come with a pair of ear pods. Now, these are standard issue ear pods. They aren't the deluxe model with the inline remote and the remote control, so just keep that in mind if you're looking for that. So here they are, let's go ahead and pop them out of this little case. There we go, all right. And you can see just by looking at the cable that there is no, as I mentioned, inline remote or microphone. So just, again, keep that in mind. So now let's peel the sticker off the iPod Touch. Interestingly, this is not the iOS 8.4 sticker. It actually has the old music app there. Let's pop it out of the little case. All right, so there is our iPod Touch, and guess what? It looks almost exactly like the last generation, except it doesn't have the little nub for the iPod Touch loop in the bottom left-hand corner there. That's the only difference physically uh, from a visual perspective. Uh, everything looks exactly the same on the outside. Obviously, you have the new pink and blue and gold colors, but from just holding the device, it feels exactly the same, same exact dimensions, same weight even, uh, it's exactly the same. So there are several different colors to choose from. You have silver, gold, space gray, pink, which is new, blue, which is new, gold's new as well, red, which is product red. You have a 16 gigabyte version, a 32, a 64, and a 128, which is only sold at the Apple Store. Now let's talk specs. This iPod Touch 6th Gen comes with a 64-bit A8 processor, the same processor found in the iPhone 6. It also comes with double the RAM at one gigabyte, plus you get an eight megapixel iSight rear-facing camera. You have faster Wi-Fi with 802.11ac, and you also have Bluetooth 4.1, which offers several improvements. Now let's talk real world performance because we could spout off specs all day. It doesn't mean a hill of beans unless it actually translates into a better experience and it does. Trust me, that 64-bit A8 processor really makes a huge difference. It's night and day really with gaming. I won't say gaming was impossible to do on the iPod Touch 5th generation, but it was downright painful. This time around, it's much smoother, games load up way faster, and that extra half gig of RAM really makes a difference. Now, another advantage of the A8 chip is that now developers can use metal in their games, which allows the CPU and GPU to work closer together, which ultimately results in better looking and better performing games. Now, another advantage of the sixth generation iPod Touch is the presence of the M8 motion coprocessor, which continuously measures physical motion from sensors like the gyroscope and accelerometer, which allows apps to tap into that data to calculate things like steps that you've taken without draining your battery. Now, one last shout out to that one gig of RAM. The iPod Touch fifth gen had only 512. This has one gig and you see the difference when browsing the web. It just really is apparent. And the iPod Touch 6th Gen also has a better EyeSight camera. So not only do you have more megapixels, but it's also capable of doing things like burst mode and even slow motion. Watch this. Yeah, you couldn't do that on the old iPod Touch. Now let's talk benchmarks. The new iPod Touch has the A8 system on a chip. It runs at 1.11 gigahertz. It has one gig of RAM. The old iPod Touch has the A5 clocked at 800 megahertz and only has half a gig of RAM. Big difference, as you can see from the scores there. Now let's compare the iPod Touch 6th generation with its 1.11 gigahertz A8 processor and one gig of RAM to the iPhone 6 Plus with its 1.4 gigahertz A8 and one gig of RAM. And the benchmarks don't lie. Now let's talk 6th generation versus 5th generation. So the 6th generation is on the left, the pink one. The old one, the 5th generation is on the right. Notice game start up here. Look how much faster the 6th generation is just starting up a game. Finally started there on the old iPod Touch here. This is Ridge Racer Slipstream. 
So now we're just going to just tap the screen at the same time. All right, that wasn't too far behind. Now let's just start this race. All right. Now this is really telling. This shows you how much more powerful. We're already into the game now on the sixth generation. In fact, I'm about to start the race and the other iPod Touch fifth gen hasn't even started yet. I'm racing now and that one's still loading. Now it's finally loaded up. So you can see there's an obvious difference with processing power there. Now let's talk about web browsing. You have a faster Wi-Fi chip in the new sixth generation iPod Touch, slower one in the older. And we're just gonna load up some web pages here. Obviously not scientific, but a good indicator at least. Already loaded, still loading, okay. Let's try to go to another page. Tap, already loaded. Still loading on the ode, just like that. So yeah, now let's look at camera. And you're gonna notice you have additional functionality as we mentioned earlier on the iPod 6th generation, iPod Touch 6th gen. You see only you have time lapse over there on the left side, but now on the new 6th gen you have the slow-mo feature, 120 frames per second. And also you don't have burst mode on the old iPod Touch either. So watch what happens when I hold the shutter button on the new iPod Touch on the left. And watch what happens here. You see that? That's burst mode. You don't get that on the old iPod Touch. Now let's talk some shortcomings. Now the iPod Touch 6 Gen doesn't have as nice of a screen, obviously, as the iPhone. The contrast ratio really makes a difference. It's 800 to one, so that's obvious. You also have an underclock processor. Same A8, but the iPod Touch is underclocked. Now here's something I didn't think I would miss as much as I do, but I really do. It is Touch ID. The iPod Touch 6th Gen doesn't have Touch ID, which is really lame in my opinion. Now the obvious biggest difference between the iPod Touch 6th Gen and the new iPhones is size. Like the iPhone 6 Plus and 6 are much bigger in size than this four inch device here. It is absolutely dwarfed in my hands now. Um, yeah, and it's just not as fun or immersive to play games because it's so small, but it does fit in my pocket with ease. I like that, I really do. Should you buy it? Well, if you're a gamer and you don't have an iOS device, then why not? It's great for games and it's relatively cheap. The cheapest version is $199. Now, if you're a young person and perhaps your parents won't let you get an iPhone just yet, well, this is another reason why you may wanna consider the iPod Touch. You can have all those great iOS apps and games without actually having to splurge and pay monthly fees for an iPhone cell phone contract. And if you have an old iPod Touch, well, yeah, definitely you're gonna notice a difference between that old device and this one. So if you really like the iPod Touch, it's form factor, but you just hate how slow it's become with iOS 8, then by all means, this is a worthwhile upgrade. There's a low barrier to entry with this reasonable price. And because this device is fairly powerful, it should last for a few years. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.